Many people mistakenly believe that male and female cats are essentially identical when it comes to their behavior. But in fact, male cats have many fascinating characteristics that are not shared by female cats. One example is that male cats can be aggressive in their displays of love and very territorial. So, before getting a cat, you should be aware of its behavioral style based on gender to help you choose a cat that suits your personality and lifestyle. In this video, I will share with you 10 fascinating facts about male cats, some of which may surprise you. And watch to the end, because we have included a bonus fun fact. But, before we get into the furry details, hello and welcome to Animal Digest. If you like this type of content, please subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when we upload. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Male cats have a tendency to be left pawed. Like humans who have a dominant hand, most cats have a dominant paw, and studies have found that a cat's paw preference is commonly tied to their gender. One study showed that when it comes to daily activities such as walking up or down the stairs, reaching for food, or stepping over things, male cats' dominant paw is their left paw, while females' dominant paw is their right paw. To prove this even more, one scientist in Northern Ireland named Deborah Wells observed 24 male cats and 20 female cats over a three-month period to see if they showed any signs of being right or left-handed. Wells and her team further prove that most cats have a dominant paw, with males using their left paws more than their right, and females using their right paws more than their left. Number 2. Male cats usually have a shorter lifespan. On average, male cats live one to two years less than female cats. But, regardless of gender, a cat's life expectancy is dependent on many things, such as diet, lifestyle, whether it is an indoor or outdoor cat, etc. According to WebMD, an indoor cat's lifespan is between 10 and 15 years. On the other hand, a cat that exclusively lives outdoors has a life expectancy of only 2 to 5 years, because they are more likely to get into car accidents and predator attacks. Also, letting cats run around outside makes them more likely to get diseases like feline leukemia virus and feline immunodeficiency virus, which could shorten their lives. Furthermore, the American Veterinary Medical Association and other groups recommend that cats be kept confined when outdoors to protect them from wildlife and the environment. For example, outdoor enclosures like a catio or leash walks for cats who are used to them can keep them stimulated and safe. Number 3. Neutered male cats live longer. According to many sources, spayed or neutered cats live longer with 62% of neutered male cats living longer than non-neutered or intact males. One main reason is that neutered male cats have a much lower risk of prostate cancer and testicular cancer. Additionally, a neutered male is far less aggressive, which means he is less likely to become involved in cat fights, and cat fights can cause infections that are transmitted through bites or scratches. Furthermore, neutered male cats have less of a desire to roam, which lessens their chances of being victims of various mishaps or accidents. Number 4. A male cat's mating call, or mating cry. Male and female cats both make a loud sound when they are ready to mate. This is referred to as caterwauling. Caterwauling is an odd, loud meow that can sound like the cat is in pain or distress. But male cats go a step further in the first stage of mating by making a much louder and more intense mating sound than females do. Additionally, male cats can smell female cats' hormones from a distance when they are in heat. Also, male cats often fight with other male cats over who gets to mate first. Occasionally, superfecundation occurs in which numerous male cats will father kittens from the same litter. Number 5. Male cats are not fatherly. Male cats, both wild and domestic, are not known to be good fathers, as they aren't really interested in the upbringing of their kittens. 
Male cats tend to allow the mother to provide all the care and affection. In fact, it is reported that some male cats are aggressive toward kittens that are not their own. But there is an exception to every rule. Reports say that male Siamese cats seem to be an exception to this rule, since they usually care for their kittens. This is not surprising, as Siamese cats are known to be extremely affectionate. Number 6. Male cats are often referred to as tomcats. Male cats who have not been neutered are sometimes referred to as tomcats or toms. The name tomcat is said to originate from an ancient book from the 1760s, titled, The Life and Adventures of a Cat. This book tells the story of an extremely promiscuous feline character named Tom. The book subsequently became very popular, and as a result, it is believed that people began referring to male cats as Toms, and the term eventually gained widespread usage. This brings us to number 7. Tomcats are prone to wandering. One characteristic that is frequently observed in tomcats is their propensity for roaming. Typically, tomcats will leave their homes to look for female partners to mate with. Sometimes a tomcat may wander so far that it forgets how to get back home. But not to worry, as they eventually return home, although it can take up to three days or more. Furthermore, while wandering, a tomcat may come across conflicts with other animals or cats. In addition, wandering tomcats are prone to being struck by or run over by vehicles. This is another reason, if at all possible, to have outdoor enclosures for your cats. Number 8. Tomcats are fighters. Tomcats are known to have a strong instinct to fight. As we mentioned earlier, they may come across conflicts when they are off wandering, so don't be surprised if they return home wounded and injured. Keep in mind that tomcats can sustain serious injuries during a fight, which can be detrimental to their health. Additionally, they have a natural desire to attack other creatures, not only while wandering outdoors, but also when they are indoors. So, this is something to consider if you have other cats in the house, because these attacks are mostly to defend their territory or to make a claim on a female cat. Number 9. Male cats tend to be very territorial. Male cats are generally possessive of their territory, and to mark it, they typically spray the area with urine. They do this not just outside, but also inside the house, which can cause a bad odor. Additionally, a male cat may also spray to demonstrate his attractiveness to female cats. However, please keep in mind that spraying in the home could potentially be a sign of kidney problems or urinary tract infections. As a result, if your cat sprays indoors, it is best to take him to the veterinarian as soon as possible. Number 10. The largest domesticated cat is a male. Male Maine Coon cats are the largest domesticated cat breeds. A male Maine Coon's weight ranges from 13 to 18 pounds, but their weight could reach up to 26 pounds, which is almost double the size of a normal male cat. Their height is anywhere from 10 to 16 inches tall, and their length, including the tail, can reach up to 38 inches. On the other hand, regular male cats typically weigh between 11 and 15 pounds, their height is about 10 inches tall, and their length is approximately 30 inches, including their tail. In fact, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, a Maine Coon cat named Baravel, who lives in Italy, is currently the world's longest and largest domestic cat. Baravel is 3 feet and 11.2 inches long, which is longer than a baseball bat. Number 11. The majority of orange tabby cats are males. Male cats rule the world of orange tabbies, also known as ginger cats. Only roughly one in every five orange tabby cats is a female, so if you're considering adopting one, there's an 80% probability you'll bring home a guy. Here is why. Keep in mind that female cats have two X chromosomes, and males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. However, the gene responsible for the orange fur is on the X chromosome. So, because females have two X chromosomes, they would need two copies of the orange gene to be orange, one from mom and one from dad. 
On the other hand, because male cats only have one X chromosome, they only need one copy of the orange gene from either mom or dad to be orange. Do you have a male or a female cat? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.